If you haven't already, subscribe to the video, like the video, share it with your friends. Today we will be talking about one of the largest dog meat slaughterhouse, Closed. This story was covered by many in the media, including BBC, RT, CNN, CTN, and some non-traditional media sources. So this was taking place in the city of Songgong, um, south of Seoul. Um, this was the Tapanyong Dung Complex, in which thousands and thousands of dogs were being killed for consumptions, um, given to restaurants, sold in the market, etc. From the picture, you can see the dogs, which literally treated like cattle, in which there was bread um, chopped up and provided to restaurants and and the local market. Uh, but the way how this was done is, in itself is very inhumane. Dogs were placed into the device like this um, and they were crushed. Uh, I can imagine them uh, from neighbors that live in the area, they talked about how in the middle of the night they would hear dogs scream and yell and howl um, as they were crushed up and um, turn into meat for the market. And this goes to one of the main issue of the slaughterhouse um, being shut down. Uh, the condition inside the complex, as many humane society talked about it, it was horrifying, you know. Um, there were dogs um, that were maimed um, in different forms. Um, it was just a horrible place for not even a dog to be, for lack of a better word. It's a historic moment, as you can imagine, uh, for advocates, especially animal rights advocates from around the world have been pushing for this facility to shut down. And it's finally closed. Over thousands and thousands of dogs have been killed here, massacred. So although the facility has been shut down, to more of the story, when you travel, keep your dog on leashes and keep it close to you because you never know while you may see your dog as a pet, someone may see your dog as meat. This is Doggy Vita, signing off. Find us on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, at Doggy Vita, D-O-G-G-I-E-V-I-T-A.